Hey, doing? I'm Sean McVeigh with Sean's Outdoor Adventures, and in this video, I just want to quickly show you the way that I built my own video camera arm fairly inexpensively. So I just want to share that with you. So this is the arm. Uh, looking at these pieces first, these are made of solid aluminum, one inch, you know, thick that way, and about five eighths, five eighths inch thick this way. As I said, solid. I got a pack of four of them off of Amazon for $14 shipped. So that was pretty inexpensive. And then I just drilled a hole here and here and, you know, obviously at that end. And right now I have two here, but I think I'm going to put the third in and it's going to really give me a lot of arm length and adjustability. And then for connecting the two, I just bought a pack of plastic washers from Lowe's pretty inexpensively and I bought the bolts obviously from there as well. So this part of the camera arm here with the bolts and the and the plastic washers, you know, I was I probably spent about fifteen, sixteen dollars, you know, to do that part. For the part that attaches to the tree, I just had this old bracket laying around from my first camera arm that I ever bought, which was a real cheap model. Uh, and I just put that on there, but if, if I was going to make it totally by myself and not use this, um, I actually bought some, I'm not sure where I put them, but I bought some L brackets, much bigger and, and thicker than these, you know. Um, and I was going to bolt them together, and this part was going to go up against the tree, and my ratchet strap, I could put one or two around there. Now, if your ratchet strap, let me just get a piece of this strap, is going around here and you don't want it to you know slip up you could put um, you know any kind of you could use a metal wire to go from from you know several holes in here so you could put a metal wire of some sort from the top to the bottom hole and wrap it around to keep that from sliding out there's all different options you can do there however as I was saying so this would go up against a tree and I'd rack the strap there I might even connect to the ratchet strap a secondary strap to come around the bottom for stability. But this would be a very inexpensive way to make a bracket to go against the tree and then your camera arm would bolt right onto this part of the L bracket and then that would go against the tree. So again, you know, with the whole arm you're under $20 at that point still, or right around $20. And this is a very solid, sturdy um, arm. Now, as you can see, I used camouflage duct tape. You could always paint it, but you know, paint will scratch off a little bit over time. Not enough to shine through, but you, know, you could hit it with some spray paint. This didn't have the odor that spray paint does, so I just put the tape on there. As for the video camera head, now that's where your money is. And that's the most important thing of any video camera arm. Uh, this. This camera head right here is a fluid head, so it pans very smoothly up and down, or pan, you know, this way, that way, vertical, right, left, and then when you let go, it stays right where it's at, even with the weight of the camera on there. If you use a friction head, which typically you have to twist this part to tighten it, um, you don't get as smooth of a pan and video output, because when you're I mean, let's say you're moving up and down, you loosen and tighten this to do so, and you let go, it's almost always going to just drop down a little bit due to the weight of the camera on here. And I used one of those for years. Actually, I'll show you the one I started off with. This came on a video camera arm I used to use. You tighten and loosen this, and you know, so you're trying to pan. This one doesn't pan very well, uh, very smoothly. It's very, like, you know, jolty. And then when you're going up and down, you can see it's jolty as well. It doesn't have that smooth pan because it's not a fluid head. Uh, it's friction that holds the camera head where it needs to be. So you have to overcome the friction to move it and then tighten it up to hold it still. And usually it'll, it'll drop down, like I said, a little bit. So you could get a cheap friction head, but you're not going to get as good of a quality in your video product. So again, I encourage you to look for, shop around for a fluid head. I was looking for the cheapest one I could find. Now this one I got off of a tripod that I bought at Walmart. Actually this tripod I was just holding is the legs that that head came on. And then I just took that head there, put this one here, and here I bought a second one. They had two, so I bought them both. 40 bucks, 
uh, for the whole tripod. So I got the whole tripod and a fluid head. That is amazing. And they were probably just sitting around for years. Nobody bought them because <laughs> the boxes were both very dusty. I told a friend of mine, he's been searching Walmarts and stuff for the same type of deal, hasn't found it yet. But um, you're gonna have to shop around for the head. But if you wanna get a, a good quality with your videoing, you really wanna go with a fluid head. And that's gonna, you know, impact the overall amount of money you put into your video camera arm. So with the head, I got, you know, this, I built this for around $50, $60, no, $60 if you're gonna include the whole price of the tripod. However, I got the use of the whole tripod legs as well for when I'm doing stationary video work, such as what I'm doing right now. And then for the ratchet strap for this, I just took an old ratchet strap you know, they're pretty inexpensive. You might have one laying around that you could just use or buy one for a few dollars. And there you have it. There's a do-it-yourself video camera arm. I mean, if you take the head off and you look at just the arm, like I said, I probably have about $20 into it. And, you know, to get a decent, sturdy video camera arm on the market, you're going to be possibly spending around $100. So if you're looking to save a little money and you like doing it yourself, this is just one idea for you to, you know, take advantage of when you're putting a video camera on together. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, take care and God bless.